My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, every year on 2nd April, we celebrate the feast of St. Francis of Paola. Francis was born in the town of Paola on 27th March 1460. His parents named him St. Francis because they had prayed to St. Francis of Assisi during his birth and also when the boy was small to heal him of defects in the eye. And it was through the intercession of St. Francis of Assisi that the boy got healed. Francis from a very early age showed signs of prayer and mortification. He loved to pray and fast. He stayed in a monastery from a very early age. He went with his parents to a pilgrimage to Rome and Assisi. And while returning from the pilgrimage, he chose his father's property, a cave where he would stay there for a few years. And later on, he moved on to a still secluded cave in the sea coast and stayed there for six years. In 1435, two companions joined Francis and he built three cells. Later on, he built a chapel and this was the founding of the order of the Hermits of St. Francis, which later on came to be known as the Order of Minim Friars. Humility was the hallmark of the brothers of the Order of Minim Friars. Francis believed that through mortification, one could attain spiritual growth. The friars had to live a life of great severity and practice prayer and mortification. They practiced charity, humility and prayer. The Order of Minim Friars, which means least in the house of God. Francis was well known for his miracles and many miracles have been attributed to him. He also had the gift of prophecy. Francis established many monasteries in Italy, Germany and France. His fame grew so much that he was called to France to restore peace between two royal families and he stayed in France for almost 25 years preaching Christ to the people around there. Francis himself spent time in silence and solitude and he could spend hours and hours in prayer. He was a simple man who loved to proclaim the gospel of Christ. As the number of friars grew, it was in 1474 that Pope Sixtus IV gave permission to Francis to write the rule for the community. St. Francis spent most of his time proclaiming the gospel, preaching the good news of Christ to the people. Knowing his end was near, he spent last months of his life in complete solitude. And on a Good Friday in the year 1507, he gathered his friars for one last time and instructed them. He passed away at the age of 91. He was canonized by Pope Leo X on 1st May 1519. He is also the patron of seafarers because the number of sea-related miracles attributed to him. My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, as we celebrate the feast of St. Francis of Paola, let us pray through his intercession that we too continue to preach the good news of the Lord and live our life in humility.